Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the MGM Grand here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Boxing, this is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. My name is Mark Chinook. I'm wishing you all a very happy holiday season. This is our final, final card of 2020, and what a year it has been, and what a year, or what a way to go out on such a, a crazy year inside the bubble. Big thank you to everybody at MGM for allowing us to continue boxing the way we have inside this bubble. It's been an incredible experience for everybody involved, but a tip of the cap to everybody at MGM for going above and beyond keeping us safe here uh, and all of the fighters. We have an incredible card, an incredible lineup of fights to close out the year. Three of those fights are here this afternoon with me, six fighters uh, to discuss what's going to be an incredible Saturday night here in Las Vegas. Uh, we're gonna get to it right away. It's Masayoshi Nakatani taking on Felix Verdejo. Uh, both of these gentlemen have translators just off the camera, but I wanna get right into it, guys, because we have an incredible weekend of fights, and I am so glad that both of you are taking time to sit with us uh, today for just a few minutes. You haven't fought. He hasn't fought since the Lopez fight. Is he worried about any inactivity with that layover, layoff? ロペズ戦から試合をしてなくて何か心配していることはありますか うん、強いパンチ。あの、ポイントになるパンチがやっぱりちょっと少なかったんで、そういうのをやっぱりその海外の試合ではあの、使っていきたいなと思ってます。あ、yes, uh, new trainer, Ismael Salas. How have things changed since he's brought on a new trainer? Tienes un nuevo entrenador en Ismael Salas. ¿Cómo han cambiado las cosas cuando él fue parte de tu equipo? Pues mira, eh, todo ha sido muy bien. Eh, me siento en excelente condición. Eh, el cambio ha sido drástico del cielo a la tierra. Lo he visto yo mismo, lo he notado en mí. Me siento rey para el sábado 12 de diciembre. I feel very good. Uh, things have been going well with Ismael Salas. Um, I've made a drastic change, you know, from night to day with him, and I feel good. I feel very confident. You've been in the bubble with us before, uh, first round KO uh, over Will Madera. That made a statement, and you've had Lopez on your radar. Is there a title shot in your future? Is this something that you keep out there, that carrot dangling to keep you going? Is this an important fight to possibly get to that Lopez fight? Eh, ya has peleado en la burbuja una vez, este, esta va a ser tu segunda apariencia aquí. Este, siempre vas a tener en, en la mira a Teofimo López. ¿Cómo te sientes para esta pelea el viernes que te ayude a llegar a esa oportunidad? Pues mira, eh, yo he trabajado duro para esto y me he enfocado, me, me he dedicado al 100% para yo salir airoso el 12 de diciembre y todo Puerto Rico lo va a ver y el mundo entero. I've worked very hard for this opportunity. I'm just focused on December 12th, and I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll have all my Puerto Rican fans behind me as well. I'm sure you will. One more question. Uh, with this new trainer, obviously, he used to train Nakatani. Was there any insight given leading up to this fight? El entrenador de, de usted eh, parece que fue entrenador de Nakatani también. ¿Eso te ayuda a ti en, en algo? Pues mira, eh, eso no determina el fin de una pelea, pero yo he trabajado, eso no, no, no me, me hace que, que me confíe, sino yo voy a hacer el trabajo que, que hemos realizado y pues vamos a darlo todo. Uh, I don't really think it determines much in this fight. I'm just focused on, on what I have to do in the ring and that's all. Perfect. Thank you very much. And one last question for Nobu. Uh, can you let us know here? He's a six foot tall fighter, four inches uh, taller than his opponent. Does he see that as an advantage going into Saturday night? え、今回身長の差がだいぶあなたが有利なんですけれども、それに対して、え、特別に有利だとは思いますか? 
うん、まあ、ボクシングはその身長で戦うわけじゃないんであそれを使わずに、まあ、パンチ力、K を狙って試合したいなと思っています。ボクシングは not fought with height, and、uh, I, I don't plan to use that, but I am going to use the punches and try to knock him out. Perfect. Well, it's going to be a battle Saturday night. If you could explain to the gentlemen to come down to these X's for their first face off, please, and have them leave their microphones on,、uh, on their stools. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. This is Masayoshi Nakatani, Felix Verdejo, Saturday night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we continue our conversation this afternoon. Again, all of our fights going down Saturday, December 12th, beginning at 4 p.m. Pacific on ESPN. Edgar Berlanga taking on Ulysses Sierra. Ulysses is with me right now.、Um, first of all, your shoe game is on point, bro.、Uh, I'm very excited. I know Andre Ward would be very proud of those shoes as well. And speaking of Andre Ward,、uh, you've had some incredible opportunities、uh, with sparring Canelo Alvarez, Sergey Kovalev. And as I mentioned, Andre Ward, how have those guys helped you in your career?、Uh, I just learned a lot, of, a lot of tools of the trade, like、uh, just the hard work and dedication that they put into the camp and things like that, and how serious they take things. And、uh, I mean, I took a little bit from every camp, and、uh, it's helped make me who I am today. So. So, you're going in against、uh, Berlanga, and you know, everybody's talking about his first round knockouts, 15 in a row. And、uh, what is it about him? That dominates these, these fighters like that, that you see in the tape that you've been able to watch? Everyone he fights is, fights him at 160 and they're coming up to fight him. So he's fighting smaller people, is what he's doing. It's good matchmaking on top rake's part. 
All right, we'll tip our cap to the, the top-ranked matchmakers. Uh, what do you got to do to get past the first round, let alone uh, a victory? It's got to be myself and have fun. Pop my jab, take advantage of the openings when they present themselves, and just be myself and have fun, really, at the end of the day. It's been an interesting journey watching. Obviously, you just came off of a, a, a close decision. Uh, we've been watching Edgar now. Uh, it's going to be fireworks in there every time you get in the ring, every time he gets in the ring. What can we expect uh, when we tune in to watch this fight that's going to make it different for you, also different for him? If they picked me because of my last fight, that's where they messed up. I mean, I had a lot of issues going into my last fight. And um, I'm 100 times better today. I'm way more healthy. My, my camp was way better. So you guys are just going to see a whole different me. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys. Preparation is the key. We hear that a lot. What was camp like knowing that you were facing Berlanga in, in, on Saturday night? Um, I was in camp with Jamel Charlo for his last camp in o October. And then after that, I was supposed to get ready for a fight. So fights were flowing through. So I mean, I've been in the gym for the past three months. Uh, fights falling through and stuff like that, so I'm I'm on I'm in shape, and uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock and roll. You're here. That mm -hmm. says a lot. That's half the battle. Your opponent's not here. Yeah. What is that? What is what kind of message does that send to you? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not I'm not sure. Well, actually, here he is. He's coming in. No, nope. come on in. Come on up. We were just talking about uh, you not being here, but you're here. No, don't don't apologize, man. You're here. Let's let's jump in. Uh, Saturday night. What can we expect? Uh, fireworks, like always. You know, I'm 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 100% ready. Can I take the mask off? No, yeah, keep the uh, mask on, please. Oh, uh, I'm 100% ready for the fight, man. You know, like I always do, man. Get your popcorn ready. You recently took a trip to Puerto Rico. You visited your idol. Trinidad, yeah. How was that? And uh, what does that for? What does that mean to you to be able to have that opportunity? Man, it's amazing. You know, as a fighter, you know, I, growing up, two years old, I was watching him fight, you know, and uh, finally I got the chance to meet him, man, and it was an amazing feeling, you know, um, being on the island with him. You know, I was in his hometown, where he's from, and they showed me tremendous love, man, you know. Um, I got very emotional, as well as he did, you know, him talking about his life and uh, all the stuff that he went through, all his ups and downs with, with his father, you know, and then with that, my father being there, you know, he got very emotional, man, as well as me. Emotional, man, you know, um, man, I, I visited my idol. Your last fight was on the Loma Lopez card. Obviously, a lot of attention paid to that fight. Have things changed since then because it was such a high-profile moment for you in your career? Uh, yeah, you know, um, a lot, a lot of big people tuned in that night, you know, and I showed out like I always do. Um... I did, I did blow up after that, after that fight. You know, we almost had two million viewers and um, a lot of big people recognized me and we're here now. Now that he's sitting across from you, it's real, it's on, it feels real now. When you weren't here, it was a little awkward for me as well. I gotta yeah. be honest, and we're starting a press conference and you're late. Yeah. It's weird, you know, I've never had that happen. Yeah. But we're here now. You guys are sitting uh, beside each other. Uh -huh. You've had first round knockouts in all of your fights. Can we expect that again Saturday night? Uh, do, no. you th do you not even think of that? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't like to dwell on the first round stuff. You know, if it happens, it happens. If not, you know, then I'm more than ready to, to go those extra rounds, man. You know, I prepare myself every, for every camp to make sure I go 12 rounds. You know, and that's what we're here for. You know, it's, it's for me, you know, we find an eight round, a 10 round, a 10 round. Every, every camp, man, I'm preparing for 12. Yourself. You're obviously ready to go past one, past two, past three, whatever it takes. What can we expect Saturday night? Like you said, fireworks. Tune in. I'm going to slay the monster. I, I love it. I love it. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to put your mics on your stools. We're going to head down to the X's there, please, for your first face-off of the weekend here inside the MGM bubble. Ulysses Sierra, Edgar Berlanga, Saturday, December 12th on ESPN+.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sticking with us through this uh, awkward press conference, but we roll with it. It is live. Thank you for tuning in on ESPN+. Plus. It is now time to bring up the main event. And these last two talked about fireworks. Well, our main event certainly is going to be fireworks. Please welcome Toka Khan, Clary, and Shakur Stevenson. Gentlemen, welcome. Sit down. Take a load off. Let's chat for a few minutes. Shakur, I want to start with you. You took this fight on five weeks' notice. Any concern there? Nah, I'm one of them fighters who um, stay in shape, and I don't get too far out of shape, so... My last fight, they called me in under uh, six weeks, so this is nothing new for me. Awesome. The opposite for you, you know, you've been in the gym, uh, your last fought uh, October 29th. How has that activity helped you? Uh, it helped me tremendously, you know. Um, this opportunity is a blessing, and I'm just happy and thankful to have this opportunity. Well, I'm thankful that you're both sitting here with me, i got to be honest. Uh, he's a southpaw like yourself. Uh, your first southpaw opponent as a professional. What do you think about that? I mean, that's cool. Um, I spar a lot of southpaws. I told you I've been in camp with uh, Lomachenko, Tank. Um, and the amateurs, you fight a lot of southpaws. So um, there's nothing new for me. I think it's probably going to be one of my best performances. Perfect. Uh, you've, been, uh, you've been criticized a little bit in the media. People don't think you're ready for this. And you've been pretty vocal about it. Talk about that for a second. I mean, I think this fight right here gave me the opportunity for the world to see um, who Toka Khan is and show, so I could show my skills and show that I do belong on this level with top fighters. 100%. Now, you guys cross paths uh, as amateurs. Does that help you? Does that... Uh... Uh, now, I'm a little older than Shakur. You know, um, when I was coming up, he wasn't um, in my amateur group. Um, he was, he's younger than me when I was coming up in the amateurs. He wasn't with, with the group I was with. But you're ready for this. You feel this is your time. Absolutely. I train extremely hard for this. My team and I, we work extremely hard for this. And we know what we're coming, um, what we're coming to. We know Shakur's a talented young, young fighter. And we know we're talented as well. So we just, we're excited about this. I'm excited about this. You kicked off our first fight in the bubble, what feels like an eternity ago for us with uh, the ESPN crew and top rank staff. And now you get to close out this year in the bubble. Does that experience help you a little bit? I mean, um, either way, I was going to be good regardless. Um, the bubble kind of feel like it's like the amateur days where it's like um, you going in there. Like last bubble, I was training in my hotel room and stuff like that just to get the, uh, the, the heat hot and lose weight. So um, it just feel it just feel like the amateur days all over again. I don't feel like um, you don't got a lot of people around you. It's just you and no family and stuff around. You got to think about only the fight. So um, I think I'm prepared regardless whether it was um, – in June or, or now. I like that you said you got to focus on this fight because, you know, there's a lot of names being thrown around out there for you. Uh, the Burchelt Valdez winner, Jojo Diaz, Tank Davis. How does this fight not become a trap for you? I mean, you, you can't look at all of them other fighters. You got to realize I got a fighter in front of me. Um, I'm fighting Toka Khan. Uh, with all due respect to him, um, I don't think he's a bad fighter at all. I, I agree with everything that he was saying where they looking at him as a... a like a, a bum, but I don't see him as no bum. I see him as a real test. So um, Saturday night, I'm going to make sure I put my best performance um, on against a solid fighter. I love to hear that. Uh, it's very respectful. Saturday night, it's the holiday season. What would this mean to you? Uh, to me, it will be a blessing to me and my family, you know. Um, um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready. I train extremely hard. You know, and just being on, on the world stage so the world can see who I am. See that I do wake up in the morning and I do put time and spend time in with this sport. And I love the sport. And I just, I'm thankful to have this opportunity to share the ring with an Olympian, a current world champion. You know, it's a blessing. A lot of mutual respect here on this stage right now. Shakur, what do we expect from you Saturday night? Fireworks. I want to show the world that I am one of the best young fighters in the sport. Uh, I need them to put a lot more respect on my name. So on Saturday, we're going to show them why. I love it. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to leave your microphones on on the stools right there, and we're going to ask you to go down to the X's. To everybody tuning in on ESPN Plus right now, thank you for your patience this afternoon. This was, this was an interesting one, to say the least. But this is our main event, and it goes down Saturday, December 12th, ESPN Plus. Toka Khan Clary, Shakur Stevenson. This is boxing. This is top rank. And we'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-ins.